HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. And by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business for over 35 years. Owners Jim and Rebecca Mazzucchelli provide honesty, respect, and integrity, performing safe and effective pest control services. They service your home like it's their home. Hello and welcome to HCAM News. Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, we'll take you to the Hopkinton Chamber of Commerce annual holiday party. The Hopkinton Hillers winter sports season is underway and I talked with seniors on the Hopkinton football team as they wrapped up their season. But first, here are some happenings in Hopkinton you should know about. The Charter Review Committee held their second public forum to review Hopkinton's town charter. Our committee has representatives from the Board of Selectmen, the School Committee, and the Appropriation Committee, as well as four members of the public, one of whom served on the original Charter Commission. The review of the charter started in January 2016. The charter was first implemented in 2006. Three significant changes presented for consideration included changing the position of town clerk from elected to appointed by the Board of Selectmen, standardizing reporting structure for town employees. We looked at five areas relating to reporting structure, appointment, supervision, goal setting, evaluation, and discipline. And streamlining the budget schedule and warrant process. When reviewing the budget process, the committee kept in mind that the town is continuously growing and as of fiscal year ending June 30, 2017, it had an $80 million budget across all aspects of town finances. Residents had the chance to give input and thoughts towards the town charter. Most of the comments were regarding the proposed change to make the position of town clerk an appointed position rather than elected. That remembers Bob Bartlett knows that as an elected official, he was awesome. We decided we needed to appoint our highway superintendent and we went through a ton of highway superintendents and our roads have never been as good as they were when they were when we elected our highway superintendent. So I'm not so sure by changing this to elected, um, from elected to appointed, we're going to get a better caliber um, just because other towns do it and I know you guys looked at a lot of towns and you know just because somebody else does it doesn't mean we have to do it. Um, Hopkinton is unique. Um, we might have the same demographics or median income as other towns, but I've lived here a long time. I've seen a lot of changes. And we do things and we have done things that other towns don't do and we're very successful at it. Come introduce yourself. Register to vote. Get your dog license. Get our current leash laws. Outside of having an enormous election that this young man did very, very well, I have not seen anything that's changed in 20 something years where I can go in and someone can go in and pick up a death certificate, someone can re you know, register vote, I can still get my dog license. But that the fact that the mission statement on the town's website says, come introduce yourself, get your leash law, your dog license, register to vote. That really synopsis what the job is on a day to day basis without election time. The town clerk, Connor Deegan, spoke at the charter forum as well. A number of, <coughs> I think the board should be able to maintain power over their appointed uh, directors of their departments. Um, and I, I'd also like to say it's, it, to a point that was made earlier in the discussion, I've been concerned about how the committee has taken public viewpoints on any of the issues about the charter. Uh, coming to a number of the meetings, I've heard a lot of terminology to the effect of uh, the average resident has, there's no way they could uh, tell if someone's qualified to do a job. Uh, there's no way we're going to listen to how they recommend we're doing this because it's going to possibly stop everything that we've worked on. Uh, we might as well throw everything out. There's a lot that's being done that's great. I don't want to see thrown out either. But it's not throwing out the whole charter to listen to 
what residents of the town want to see. The Board of Selectmen accepted the report of the Lake Maspinock Aquatic Vegetation Control and Management Advisory Group. The group presented a comprehensive weed management and control plan for Lake Maspinock. This slide shows the watershed of the Lake Maspinock. Lake Maspinock watershed is 1,813 acres. The watershed is encompassed in Hopkinton, Upton, and Milford. The lake itself is 234 acres, which grew with dams, etc., from a pond of 40 to 50 acres back at its inception. Maspinock is an Indian term, or an Indian word, meaning water at the foot of the hill. The size and cost uh, were also major, major uh, issues when we looked at it. The good news is we have taken a big lake and turned it into 10 lakes. And each one of those areas would be treated differently at different cost factors and only be treated if that specific area showed that it needed treating. You can view the full Board of Selectmen meeting on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HKMTV. This year, at their annual holiday gathering, the Hopkinton Chamber of Commerce honored the organizers for the Sharon Timlin 5K, as well as retired Hopkinton Fire Chief Ken Clark. HCAM's Mike Terosian was on the scene. State Representative Carolyn Dykema was one of the few to thank the Sharon Timlin 5K Road Race leadership team and retired Fire Chief Ken Clark at the Chamber of Commerce annual holiday party. And so this is really a celebration of all of that and a celebration of individuals that also have played such strong roles in shaping the community over the years. And it's my pleasure and honor to be able to honor and recognize two of them here tonight. Casual commentary on the leadership role that our chief, Chief Clark, um, had played in really advancing the technical expertise that now is commonplace, but back before it was commonplace, when Hawkinton had the marathon, the chief had the wisdom and the foresight to recognize that more safety and security was needed than kind of was traditional. And he did that because he cared so much about the community and he knew that the community needed to be safe. Recognize him for everything he does. For the citation on behalf of the Massachusetts House. And it reads, be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Kenneth Clark in recognition of receiving the Hopkinton Chamber of Commerce's 2016 Distinguished Service Award for your extraordinary contributions to the Hopkinton community. Deputy Chief William Miller and current Chief Stephen Slammon also had some words for Ken Clark. The only program that was in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts that was training firefighters how to deal with natural gas or propane fed fires. We didn't have any of this before. We do have it now. We have a state-of-the-art system at the academy, but it goes back to without Kenny and the Arthur Stewart days and the many people that put the time and effort into this, we wouldn't have it. So what are we saying? Gentleman gave us 44 years of his life away from his family. Marie, you know how that goes. It's a unique job. It's a unique business. You have to want to do it. It will help us. And the phone call goes to Ken. And he literally will leave his house and he'll come down. And that's how they're able to take care of this one child. And, and, I, and that's when I kind of realized the scope of you know, his impact to the community, his dedication, um, you know, to say it's not just a job, um, he truly kind of exemplifies, you know, giving your life to the community and community service. To his work, helped make Hockington a safer place to live and to work. Thank you for your loyalty, dedication, and devotion. Thanks, Chief. But uh, so I started at 15 and a half, and then at 22, I went on the job full time and, and spent like 38 years and a couple of months and retired last January. And, uh, and Hawkinton to me is, I, I, you couldn't ask for a better community. I had a chance one time 
to go to Boston, and my chief at the time, Chief Stewart, was very well connected there. He said, you want to go? You're in? I said, my roots are in Hopkinton. When you cut me, I still bleed green. Okay, and I stayed home at where my roots were, and I never regretted it one minute. And it's like uh, I've met a lot of great people on the road. I see Drew here, his name has been announced here, and I'm part of his CrossFit family. And we have a lot of fun there, and, and Mark's there. And, but uh, my fire department family and my town family, and, and with Norman's team at the town hall, was always a very, very special place. And, and still, when I get a chance, I'll jump in there and say hi to those people when they're not busy in a meeting or something like that. But uh, it's just about the community to me, and it was like, uh, it was never, in my, in my first chief, who was fantastic, Chief Stewart said to me, it's not about the individual, it's about the community first and then the organization. Tim Kilduff of the Hopkinton Chamber of Commerce presented the Distinguished Service Award to the Sharon Timlin 5K Road Race Leadership Team. What drives this event is not only Abby uh, and Dave uh, Kruger's commitment to the cause, but the fact that they've been able to transfer that emotion to a group of leaders that put on this phenomenal road race. And I can tell you, there is not, there is not another road race like this anywhere in this region and probably anywhere in New England. The Hopkins and Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors is pleased to recognize the contributions made by Abby Ro Rosenberg and this distinguished team to the heartwarming success of the Sharon Timlin 5K road race. While raising funds for ALS research, the event contributes to Hopkinton's reputation as a caring and generous community. Um, we have a lot of gratitude for the long-standing support of the town of Hopkinton, the many local businesses that support us, and the wonderful community of Hopkinton. Furthermore, to be honored alongside retired fire chief, our hero, Ken Clark, um, who has helped us so much over the last 14 years with this event is very humbling to us, so thank you. Um, coincidentally, our team has been discussing how to better engage the Hopkinton business community. So when we were told of this award, it was an affirmation that we're right on track, and we welcome the invaluable involvement of our business community and we hope to continue expanding those relationships. See a whole lot of pictures from the Hopkinton Chamber of Commerce annual holiday party at our scene in Hopkinton.org and be on the lookout for the full presentation airing soon on HCAM. Coming up next on HCAM News, we have Hiller's hockey highlights and I talked with seniors from the Hiller's football team. A whole lot more ahead on HCAM News. Stay tuned. HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Hi. My name is Margie Wiggin, and I want to invite you to join me for my new show, Character Matters, on HCAM. We're going to talk about why do people choose the behavior that they choose? Why do they choose to be good? We're going to hear from people in history. We're going to hear from local heroes who make great choices. And we're going to hear from some puppets who talk about things they've seen, and they're going to say, what? Did you see that? Yes, I did. Please join us. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Welcome back to HCAM News. The Hillers boys varsity hockey team got their season started off with a 3-1 win on the road against Dover Sherborne. Their next battle was the home opener against the defending Division II state champion Medfield Warriors. 
Hopkinton Hillers Varsity Hockey 2016-2017 season home opener. They welcomed in the Division II state champion Medfield Warriors. First period, Jack Sloan on the quick break. Left this one in the perfect place. DJ Sloan got the last touch, but what a beauty of an assist by Jack Sloan. The goal came with 5.57 left in the first period. Just over a minute and a half later, this happens. Well, the Hillers have an opportunity from the slot, and it is going to be a second goal. Steven Simos. Steven Simos in front of the net, taking advantage of the opportunity and helping the Hillers to the 2-0 lead. The goal came with 4.22 left, one minute and 35 seconds after the first goal. Second period now, Everett Rolf distributes a beauty of a pass toward Matt Lindquist, who puts it off the pad of the goaltender Kevin Walsh. Junior Will Abbott is there to follow through and put the Hillers up three to nothing. Later in the second period, Medfield would put the pressure on, but senior goaltender Zach Rogers came up with huge saves. Medfield added a goal with 7.51 left in the third period, but the Hillers would take the game 3-1 over Medfield and improve to 2-0 on this season. Other Hillers sports news to tell you about, the Dover Sherborne and Hopkinton girls co-op ice hockey team is 1-1 one one on the season. They lost to Oakmont 6-1 and defeated Shawsheen 8-0 on Wednesday, December 14th. Also on December 14th, Hillers Wrestling took the meet with Keefe Tech 36-24. On Tuesday, December 13th, Hillers Boys and Girls Basketball both got road wins versus Ashland to start off the season. The girls took game one of the doubleheader 71-43. Ivy Goglin led the team with 24 points and 14 rebounds. In game two of the doubleheader, the boys took an overtime thriller. 66 to 63 was the final. Kyle Rector came up huge in the late minutes for the Hillers and dropped 18 points during the game. View the full Hillers Varsity hockey game versus Medfield airing soon on HCAM as well as on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV. The Hillers football team finished the year 4-7 and seven overall and held their end-of-the-season banquet. HCAM News talked with some of the seniors on the football team who shared their most memorable moment of their high school football career as well as some advice for the underclassmen. My favorite memory was probably... Uh... Uh, senior week um, when we uh, play all of our games. Um, it was great uh, that all the seniors played and uh, it's a great experience to play on uh, home fields for the last time. Uh, my favorite memory probably was uh, my sophomore year coming onto the squad not really knowing what to expect and uh, that first day just seeing Gerard rip everybody apart. Uh, my favorite memory besides SWW was uh, running onto the field for all those home games. Uh, just getting pumped up with the boys. Favorite memory, memory besides SWW? Um, probably the last home game, all the Rams. Definitely my favorite. Uh, my favorite memory playing football for, uh, in Hopkinton High was Coach Sully and I making Luke Deloy cry in practice. Well, uh, besides W. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, uh, besides SWW, I'd say uh, having more picks than all the D backs. Well. Besides SWW, my favorite memory would have to be abusing Anthony Farina in practice. Uh, well, besides SWW, it'd, it'd have to be Coach Gerard just yelling at Charlie all the time for not lifting in the offseason. My favorite memory of playing football at Hoppington High School was probably senior year when Charlie Dumas got an interception and ran it, and ran it back for probably 15 yards, getting a whole inch off the ground. Um, probably uh, be resilience, uh, get, have resilience because you uh, move on to the next play. 
Um, I think one of the lessons I learned was uh, you have to work hard and uh, just persevere through everything. Uh, the biggest lesson that I've learned is that the law of physics always prevails. Uh, some of the lessons I learned... Um, <laughs> I didn't think about this. Um, I didn't think about it. Yeah, be, uh, you got to be hardworking and resilient and, uh, you know, it's, bad things are going to happen. You just got to learn from them and move on. Uh, some lessons I learned was to be hardworking in practice and being able to take tough criticism. It really doesn't matter how hard you try, but you will never become a tight end and you will never get out of SWW. <laughs> lift. Uh, you can lift all you want, but when Tim McGrath has 100 pounds on you, there's not much you can do. I definitely learned how to be persistent and be very resilient when hardships approach you. Uh, advice, um, probably uh, if, even if you don't play, um, scout is very important and uh, scout helps the first O and first D. So, uh, you know, I didn't play that much and, uh, you know, I, I was fine with that, helping uh, the first O in defense with scout. Uh, underclassmen, uh, hit the weight room and uh, just go all in. There's uh, no halfway with football. Uh, some advice I would give to the underclassmen is uh, lift weights in the off season and, uh, hey, BK, eat your Wheaties. Some of the advice to give the underclassmen, um, enjoy it. You know, it flies by and, uh, yeah. Uh, some advice I'd give to the underclassmen is to lift in the off season and just be a basketball player out there and uh, use your feet, 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 feet. Uh, don't mess up on water duty. Get noticed during practice and prepare for film and us WW. Can't question the coaches. They're there for a reason. Lift. Probably to lift in the off season and to have some thick skin and to work hard. A whole lot of great programming is coming up on the HCAM channels. Standing by to tell you all about it is Courtney Taylor with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. On Saturday, December 17th at 1.30 p.m., the ice hockey game versus Medfield will air. On Monday, December 19th at 7 p.m., John Schindler performs songs inspired by his life on Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. To a part of a garden of Eden, a taste from the holy grail. If there's hope in your heart, you're offered a part at the start of the Freedom Trail. At 9.30 p.m., Marjorie Maddox discusses her poetry and how she teaches poetry in the classroom on poetic lines. We don't try to look at those yes-no, those true-false questions. We try to kind of grapple with what's the process, um, what are possible answers, and how do you all disagree, and how do you support you know, your interpretation of this. On Tuesday, December 20th at 6.45 p.m., the Board of Selectmen meeting will air live on HCAM TV. On Wednesday, December 21st at 11 a.m., the Hopkinton Chamber of Commerce holiday party will air. And on HCAM Ed, the 5th grade winter concert, 6th grade winter concert, and 7th grade winter concert will air. And a prince works to avenge his father's death in Hamlet. If you want to know more about all of HCAM's shows before they air, head to hcam.tv slash connect where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider Newsletter. Or if you want to know about what's happening in Hopkinton, you can sign up for our daily news updates. As always, thanks for watching HCAM. Now back to you, Tom. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget to stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter, and Facebook page. Right now on our website, you can view the latest Hiller sports updates and also pictures and highlights from the holiday festivities around Hopkinton. If there is a photo, video, or story idea you would like to share with us, feel free to email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. Take care, and as always, thanks for watching HCAM.
HCAM is supported by our viewers and by Blackstone Valley Wealth Management, providing highly personalized financial planning, wealth management, and customized solutions through transparent, unbiased advice. Visit us at BlackstoneValleyWealth.com.